Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll look at the process of setting up the DB404 extended plugin and create a custom 404 page using it. We'll have, we have a couple of layouts available in the plugin which we'll try to use and see how does it looks. So this is the default page what you see on the screen and now we'll move to see the configuration. First the plugin needs to be installed and activated and then we need to go to the settings and then the page for the DB404 extended settings area. Here it asks to enable it first and then if there is a layout already in the library it would give you an option to select that layout as a 404 page or if there's nothing it will let you create one so you just need to hit create and then it will take you to the new library where you can select the layout of your choice or create anything that you want to do so I'll we'll just go to create and uh, we can either click on add new to create a custom completely uh, unique layout as per your preference or you can try to import an existing layout to the DB library from the zip file provided with this plugin. So we'll just try to extract it and it will give us the JSON file. So we need to upload this JSON which will add the layout from the demo site to your library. As you can see here the demo has been imported and will be uh, redirected to the list of available layouts now. So uh, from 1 through 10 we have 10 available layouts and we'll try to use them as our 404 page now. So I'm going to db404 extended plugin setting and enable it. So let's pick the number 2 and hit the same button. That's all we need to do. Now if we go back and reload the page for the same uh, 404 error situation, we'll have something else. We'll have the layout that was saved in the library and we selected it as our 404 page. Uh, if you try to make a change, you can do it simply by selecting it from here and uh, an instant 404 page uh, change uh, you can make uh, anything you like you can include a button you can include social media you include opt-in you have full control you just need to create the page uh, using the db builder and then come here and assign it that's all thank you